You could say it's a story about immigration, about the overwhelming number of unaccompanied minors in government custody, about policy and politics. It's also a story about a teddy bear named Peludine. He traveled from Santa Ana, California to Phoenix, Arizona in the arms of a mother desperate to reunite him with her six-year-old boy named Juan Felipe, holding the toy all through the journey as tightly as she wanted to hold her son. Juan Felipe lost his first peludine in the desert when crossing the border from Mexico to Arizona. His mom, Andrea, says she came to the U.S. from Venezuela last year because of threats on her life. When her family started receiving the same threats, they too came here seeking asylum. Juan Felipe traveled with his stepfather, half-brother, and his abuela. But they were separated by Customs and Border Protection, despite the fact that he was with his stepfather. And Juan Felipe was deemed an unaccompanied minor. CBP did not respond to requests for comment on the separation. Andrea spent a week trying to get information about her son. But Andrea eventually did get a call from CBP telling her Juan Felipe wouldn't stop crying. Then another call from Health and Human Services, telling her he wasn't eating or sleeping. What was it like to get those phone calls, hear your son crying on the other end of the line? What was that experience like for you? Ay, eso me destrozó el alma, me destrozó porque era muy lindo porque él cuando lo iban a trasladar no se dejaba montar a la, a la van, al bus. She learned he was placed in a temporary foster home in Phoenix, so she sought help from Dr. Amy Cohen, who runs Every Last One, a nonprofit that helps reunite families. The two quickly got on a plane to Arizona to advocate for Juan Felipe's release. We are inundated with calls, inundated with calls from families with even very young children who they've not heard from for weeks and weeks, who they're unable to locate because even the systems for locating a children have broken down. But this week, Andrea became one of the lucky ones. And so did Peludine, finally finding his lost boy. Yeah. How are you feeling? There are still thousands of parents still fighting through a system that is frankly overwhelmed. We also connected with a Guatemalan father of two young girls as he dialed a government hotline meant for parents of migrant children. He's been calling that hotline every single day for three weeks, and we listened as he was put on hold for an hour and a half, only to be told that this is a process that requires, quote, patience and serenity, and that they could not disclose his girl's location. Mm -hmm. Shep. Dasha Burns, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.